Hello and welcome to Meals for Two. Today we're going to do a very healthy meal. We're going to create a spaghetti meal using the Amy's Organic California Veggie Burgers. If you have never experienced a California Veggie Burgers by Amy's, you are missing out on life. Now a lot of times people are running into a situation where, okay, what do I do? I'm eating the same meals. I want to do something different. I want spaghetti. What do I do? This right here, this is the way to go. There are four patties that come in this box, and we're going to take it and make us a, a complete meal just for two. We're going to do some other meals, but today it's all about eating the spaghetti, because I have a taste for spaghetti, and I'm trying to go healthy, so I'm going to show you how to do it, and you're going to love it. So, let's get started. Here are the things that you're going to need in order to make this very healthy, delicious spaghetti meal. I will be incorporating some fresh cilantro in my meal. We're going to saute some portobello mushrooms, saute some bell peppers, my sauce or my choice of sauce is the Petroli olive oil and garlic spaghetti sauce. For my noodles, I will be using this Rosani Healthy Harvest 100% grain linguine noodles. We have our Amy's Organic Vegetable California Veggie Burgers. We're going to use all four of these. My seasoning, this is what I'm using. route and not do any bread at all or you can do this king hawaiian honey wheat bread that is delicious as well so let's get started with it what you're going to do is get a large pot you're going to fill it halfway with water so you can apply your linguine whole grain noodles inside of it wait till it starts boiling as you can see, it's bubbling and beginning to boil. We're going to sit this over to the side. As we focus, we're going to transition over to this pan, which is a wok that I'm going to use. I will be using, I have my heat on a high temperature. I'm going to take, instead of olive oil, I'm going to be using some of this sesame seed oil. I'm only going to use one cap full. You want to allow your skillet to get a little hot. So I say cut it on a medium high heating for possibly about a minute or so. 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute. And then we're going to begin to add our vegetables. We're going to add these fresh hand sliced bell peppers and this portobello mushroom. So right now we're going to saute these vegetables for approximately about one minute. Because you don't want to overcook your vegetables and have them real soggy in your spaghetti. We're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of this cilantro fresh. And add that to You're going to saute this for approximately one minute on a medium or high heating. And whatever oil you prefer to cook it in, I just use the sesame seed oil because it gives it just a little bit more flavor. Because you don't want it to become soggy. You don't want your vegetables to be soggy in your spaghetti. I purchased this little colander from TJ Maxx, I think I did, for a couple of dollars. I'm going to place this in my bowl and sit this to the side and allow that to marinate. In the same wok, we're going to go ahead and begin to cook our California patties. Now that this water has come to a boil, a half a cap of olive oil, place that inside of your pot. And it's up to you how much you want to add, but I will be only adding... Probably half a box. We're gonna even break it in half. We're just gonna place it in a pot. Zigzag, zigzag. And it's gonna boil down. I'm gonna take another cap full of this sesame seed oil. 
place it in my skillet. Since my veggie patties are frozen, only do this if your patty are frozen. This is frozen. We're gonna add a half a cup of water. Go ahead and place your patties inside of that water. Just cover it so that steam can marinate in those patties. Okay, this is what's going on with our noodles. Have you some type of spoon, spool it? Now, as you can see, they're cooking, it's cooking down. We're gonna allow that to boil for about 15, 20 minutes, and we're gonna remove that from that towel. And I have that cooking on a high heating on a gas stove. Okay, so let's check on our patties. Delicious, that water is absorbing in that meat. And now we're gonna break our meat up. We wanna go ahead and break that meat up very well. We're gonna add our favorite seasoning. The measurement of how much seasoning to use will be down in the description bar below. The black pepper. can of garlic. Onion powder. I love onion powder. Butter, complete seasoning. It's optional. A little bit more of that. Okay, now we're gonna marinate the seasoning inside of our veggie patty. Or our veggie meat very well, I'm sorry, because it's no longer patty. We're gonna leave it uncovered. So, there's been a change of plan in the sauce. My Use the ragu chunky. Mama special garden sauce. So we will be using this sauce instead of the petroli sauce today. You can buy the smaller version. They have it, I think it comes a little bit smaller than this. We pour all of our spaghetti sauce in our skillet. Now you wanna bump your heat up to high. And mix that up very well. Saute that meat very well. We're gonna saute this and marinate this meat inside of the sauce on high for about five minutes, an additional five minutes. So you talk about what, 20 minutes, 25, 30 minutes tops to cook a complete meal, you can't beat it. And it's healthy. Okay, so it's been five minutes and doesn't that look like real beef? After an additional five minutes on a high heating we're gonna let this sit to the side. We're not gonna cover it because to produce water in your spaghetti, you don't wanna do that. We're gonna sit that over to the side. And now we're gonna take our noodles over to the sink to drain our noodles because they are ready. We don't wanna overcook them. It doesn't take that long to cook noodles. We're gonna take them over to the sink and rinse them in cold water to stop that cooking process. Allow the noodles to drain in a colander for about, about two or three minutes, and then you're gonna plate it with your noodles and add your toppings. So I'm gonna use my colander and pour this over into the colander. Be very careful because this is really, really hot. Pour it in your colander, it's hot. You can set it inside of here if you need to. And you wanna rinse it with cold water to stop the cooking process. You don't want it to overcook and be mushy like. So there you have it. We created a spaghetti meal using the Amy's Organic California Veggie Burgers. Doesn't this look delicious? Enjoy. After you eat your spaghetti, take that taste away with a slice of lemons. This is good for you to dissolve the taste out of your mouth as well as it's a good appetizer suppressor. So yes, enjoy all organic. So there you have it. We have created another great meal using the Amy's Organic California Veggie Burgers. Come on back because I have some ideas for some other great creation using the same burgers. You're not gonna believe it. But who says eating healthy has to be so boring and bland, huh? They haven't tried my meals. Send them on over here to meals for two. 
So I hope you have enjoyed the time we've shared together because you too deserve a home-cooked meal. Until next time, be blessed. Bye.